Okay, so if you are not sure that you really want to do jelly plate printing as a hobby and you don't want to pay out the initial outlay for a jelly plate, here's an idea that I've come up with. Here I have some Christmas decoration jelly plates. They can be cut into ideas for sticking on windows, but it is exactly the same material as for a jelly plate. I then transfer them over to a saucepan on the cooker where I'm melting them down. This does not work in the microwave, these do need to be heated up. As you can see there's still quite a lot of smoke coming off the pan but make sure that you've got the extractor fan on whilst you do this so you don't smoke out the kitchen. I haven't at the moment because otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm doing. So I'm going to come back to this in a moment and show you what I will do with it once it's melted. This is the mould I'll be using. This is the base of a cheese dish. It's a plastic mould. I won't be pouring the jelly into it directly. I'll be pouring it onto some uh, baking paper, some waxed paper, to help me pull it out. Now the jelly that you can see here, if I can get it to the camera, is very, very flexible and it is very, very jelly light. So it's melting beautifully in the pot as we speak. Also it comes in these wonderful acetate sheets which is really useful to place the plate on as well whilst you're doing the work. And it's just, just coming to a heat where it's all coming together now. So come back to it again in a moment. Okay, so this is the final pour. I've poured it in three stages as the jelly was getting very very smoky and of course it's very very hot hopefully the wax paper has actually protected the mould so later on uh, later today it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning um, I should be pulling it out from the mould um, because of its consistency and it's not gelatin based it won't need to be refrigerated so it can be used later on today okay and this is the final result and you'll see that I've got it sitting in the wax paper, it comes out really loose. If anything has got caught in a corner, you can just pull, pull it out and it should come out very, very complete. So I'll take that away and you can see there. Now I used two of those packs. I've got a lot left over and you can see I've got a good thickness on there. That's almost an inch thickness. Now having it thicker will mean that the paper will sit on top of the plate nicely without taking up any extra paint from the bottom of your, your baseboard here. So it'll keep the paper cleaner. Now you'll see that some of the edges here are a little bit rough, but those can be trimmed with scissors. I quite like it when it's got a wiggle on it. Now using the wax paper, you'll see underneath that it's actually got quite a matte, a matte look to it. I'm going to test that out to see if that affects the prints at all. I'm sure it won't. It's very, very dry to the touch. And this jelly, unlike the gelatin, has got a lot, lot more sturdiness to it, so it'll last a lot longer. And when it does break down a little bit, just through you stamping and maybe cutting it, or, or just through natural deterioration, you can melt it back down again, put it into another mould, reshape it to whatever shape you want, always remembering that putting some wax paper underneath it, it'll come out of the mould nice and easily.